So how about we start by introducing ourselves. I'm Christina Crawford. I'm Jessica Ronnie. I'm John Akakia. Judah Courier. I'm Eric Jones. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about communication within the track team. So let's start off by talking about what everyone thinks communication is. Well, I think communication is a form of like connection between people who may or may not have the same views or whatever. I think communication is um, sharing ideas, information. Um, I think communication is having a one in, one in two with someone who has different point of view about what's going on or something like that. Uh, I think it's just relaying an idea to another person or information. Okay, so online they define communication as an action of sharing and transferring information from one source to another. And there are four types, verbal communication, which is face-to-face, -face, telephone, radio, or television. It's nonverbal, body language, how we act or dress. Um, written communication, which is letters, emails, books, the internet, and other types of media. And then there's visual, which is graphs, charts, and maps. Um, so let's talk about the effects communication has within our sports team. Um, it can be negative or positive. I, I'm gonna go for negative. I think if there's like negative communication, like n nobody com communicates issues <coughs> to each other, like it's not gonna work because in order for you to be great, everybody has to be on the same page. So if you guys are on the same page, then your communication is effective. I think communicating is key, but it just depends what you communicate at the end of the day. Yeah, I agree. What do you mean? I mean, we have different um, team values and stuff, so. We know we shouldn't talk negative about teammates. We know we shouldn't like um, talk bad about the coach and stuff like that. So if we keep that stuff out of the team, then I think we'll have a better team and just talk positive stuff. Yeah. Um, well, I just feel like communication makes a team. Like we're not an individual. Well, we're like in between an individual sport and a team, but more of a team with our coach. So I just feel like communicating is key. Yeah. The positive effect. Everybody knows one thing, the negative effect is not everybody knows the message that we're just trying to get sent out is messed up, I guess. Um, I would say, um, just like they say, close mouths don't get fed. So if you have something positive to say, you should say it. And if you have something negative to say, just keep it to yourself and, you know, like. And you just spoke about four different types of communication. And it's not just, it's not just about saying, you understand, it's about how we act around our teammates. Is what we do or what, how we dress or what language as you say it says a lot about us for example if we like really loud vulgar and we dress like we're from the, the ghetto and stuff like that i think our teammates are the fresh and could take something from that and believe that's what we have out there and we're not a ghetto program we actually try to be like a decent program like professional nowadays Ex example exactly <laughs> 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 Team, like people like be thinking too much taking things too much personal to themselves like when talking to someone or when somebody's talking to them yeah and at the end of the day they cause like kind of confusion among each other and the end of, like, I, like i agree with that because i don't think everybody knows how to take constructive criticism like because even though sometimes things are said like not in the context you want to hear it I don't think anybody means anything bad by what they're saying. But that's um, probably because the communication isn't there. Like everybody's not yeah. on the same goal. But that's the negative effect. Right. So. And I think the structure has a lot to do with communication too. For example, when our coaches want to like relay information to us, <coughs> they don't go out about just texting one person or whatever. That's why we have a group and we even invested in an app for like making communication. Like everybody was going on at the same time. So that so that way, some things wouldn't lost along the way. Cause you know, if I tell John something, but to make it to that part of the table, it's a completely different um, yeah. information. Cause it depends on how I'm gonna pass it to her, and she's gonna pass it to Amira. Then you know, by the time it's gonna get to Amira, the topic's gonna be changed. Okay, so I read on online that poor communication leads to stress within a team and no self control. So that could be another um, negative effect of communication. Um, the next thing was the importance of communication. I feel like we already touched on that. Do you guys have anything else to say about that? 
Well, as we, as we say, um, communication is key. And, <laughs> and you see how um, I have to stress again on this uh, who invested in. I think coach invested um, how much money? Or was the department invested $20,000? Mm -hmm. So that's how, that's how much they invested in communication. And that's how much they realize how important it is to us. Because $20,000 could do so much else for us. But we thought we, um, we thought proper communication and nothing else will come together. So I think they realize that part. Okay, and what would the team be like if there was no communication? How would the team function? <coughs> well, we're not even all the way there yet. Yeah. So I feel like just being not all the way there yet without the communication and seeing how we operate now, we'd be like 10 times worse. Like, we wouldn't have a team. So there's no team without communication. Yeah, I mean, not without communication, everyone would want to do their own stuff, like, you know, operate on their own and just go about their own business. Yeah, I don't think these two terms are synony synonymous. Com no communication and team. It doesn't yeah. really make sense. Okay, what about the, what type of communication do you think is most effective when coach is trying to put out a message? Um, well, I think, let me, let me, let me go first. I think verbal, because, yeah, um, as I say, like, for example, you, you spoke about um, visual and different stuff. And as just um, spoke about earlier, it depends how we um, receive the information. Most people could see something for something else and she sees for something different. And at the end of the day, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make sure everybody understands and make sure they get the point and we get directly to the point. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's um, yeah. I mean, I agree with that. Okay. So, so to wrap it up, it's probably not 12 minutes, but coach it. Coach changed the time for practice from 6 a.m. to 5 a.m. and he only tells the team captains, but the team captains does not pass along the message. What would happen? Uh, I think everybody would end up initially getting in trouble, but then when he off, um, finds out that, you know, the team captain didn't relay his message, then we would get in trouble more than the rest of the team. But everybody would have to be punished for the lack of communication. Yeah, and um, to punish everybody, um, I feel like the team captain should, be, um, should take responsibility for that instead of letting coach punish the whole team and cause we messed up, we didn't pass it up, but yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think we had a responsibility to pass information, I believe that's why he made us captains and I believe they we should pass information, yeah, so, so if we, we don't, don't do it, you, should get, you should get punished for it. As it relates to communication within the captains, how do y'all communicate? I think we're still working on that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I got something to tell y'all after this, so like talking face to face okay. is something like we can do. I don't know. Is there anything anyone else wants to add? About what? Communication and the captains? I feel like... Well, um, I feel like Chance and Amir, they, I mean, they, they're the same, um, they girls on the same floor, they have their own thing going on. Me and you are upstairs, like, when something comes up, we talk about it, like, and like, no matter how how serious or how intense it gets, at the end of the day, we will laugh it off and be like, yo, tomorrow is a new day, and you know, because you start off the well, day fresh, and you know. I think it's, it's, a, it's a well structured program, the way the coach designed it, mm -hmm. and every information I believe Amira gets, we get it as well, for the emails and for the app and whatnot. And the yeah, communication back with us, within us, I don't think it's the best as yet, but I think we can always work on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like as a as captains together, that's one of the main things we're going back to. Like, that's why we chose us um, personally because for the team, I feel like one of the biggest things was communication and for us to be able to work together in order to get stuff done so that we can all be successful. Besides um, communication between coaches and athletes, what about athletes to athletes? Um, I would say um, there is no respect among the athletes to athletes' point of view. Yeah. Everybody just wake up and just say whatever they want and they walk around, boastful about it, like, oh, yeah, I'm the man. I say what I want and I want. Nobody can That's do anything like to me. Yeah, so, um, I, f I know, I know that some of them got a whole lot of feelings and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, you just gotta, you know, calm down and say in a respectful way that, like, you know, we want to understand what you say and go about it or do something about it. You just don't get up, start yelling and you know, say whatever you want because 
you mad or you pissed about what Kosi said or Kosi did to you, whatever, like, you know, so. Which one do you think is effective coming from athlete to athlete? Which type of communication do you think is more effective? Verbal. Body language. Verbal? Yeah, and body language. Yeah. I think first. Non-verbal, that's counting as body language. So okay. I think it should, what are the, what are the types? Is it a personal one? Verbal, non-verbal, written, and then visual. Verbal and... I think non-verbal because, like, you can say whatever to somebody, but if you look at somebody a certain way, everybody takes a look at a certain way. But that's way. the problem. I feel like athletes don't understand the difference between business and personal. Because, mm -hmm. like, I was trying to pull up a message, like, when we get on the track, it's about business. Everything we talk about is about business. This is not nothing to get personal with like it's something we love but at the end of the day when it's about track it's not about um like your feelings all the day well uh, yeah she said we don't, we don't want to say level when it comes to how we receive um information for communication um <coughs> non-verbal means of communication so i feel like if we did non-verbal <coughs> everyone would get information the same way mm -hmm. but however i think as a team we should um, if one person get information, I think we should be able to tell the teammate and relay that information. Mm -hmm. If I can say anything, I feel like <coughs> making two work, like verbal and non-verbal, is important because you say it and then okay, let me put it in a written form. For instance, like send me an email, so like you know this is what it means or whatever. Okay, and lastly, what is communication used for? Like, if my question makes sense. Why is it useful? That's like yes. the first question. No, why is no, it like useful? Not if, like, what do you get out of it? Like, okay. Like, what do you get out of like communication? Like, for example, we know when practice time is during because of communication. That makes sense, right? You come to a common understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's on the same accord. You get your message across specifically. Because, for example, even if you want to say something in um, non verbal, but, um, for example, if somebody would start a fight and coach just, well, but for people, he put a gun on somebody here, then he's, he's saying something right there, you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. or he comes with pen and his paper and they just like see him writing. They, right, he's not saying anything. Yeah, exactly. They know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't compromise my pen. You want to tell something they learned about communication from this discussion? Wow. Okay, so I think at the end of the day, as captains <clears throat> and a way to um, better get the rest of the students, um, athletes, to um, communicate better. We can have some activities to have them understand the, the importance of um, communication and formal communication and have them do like... Um, like a telephone game. Yeah, telephone game, mm -hmm. listening, you know, and just just pointing stuff out. And that's good because it's fun, but it's still a lesson. Mm -hmm. right, thank you. Why don't you think, Jess? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just put a bullet to my head. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? Oh, oh. I know. All right, bro. I mean, I think everybody just learned how to. I, I feel like I got from this that the communication can be um better, like as far as how everybody talks to each other and how everybody receives information because if it's just a business aspect, everybody has to learn that you can't take it personal. And I know that I'm a personal person, so I guess I have to learn not to take things personal. So since everybody said communication is key, do you think like we as captains have an assignment to mm -hmm. kind of bring everybody to understand it? We gotta bring ourselves to it too. Yeah, that's important. And there's a difference between communication and effective communication. So I feel like that's what I'm learning this year because last year, it got to the point in the year where it was just me and Coach Mike, I'm the only jumper. Mm -hmm. But now this year, on Tuesdays, it's five of us. And then Thursdays, it's like seven, eight, nine of us. So I feel like that's something that I need to work on because I still feel like it's all about me. And I don't know how to communicate with the athletes. To that. So I feel like that's something that I need to work on, having effective uh, communication. Mm -hmm. I would say something to that because with you guys, like no offense or whatever, but um, when it comes to this captain thing, like I didn't – but you know how I always like beforehand, before you put a title on it, like I would be in the middle or something. I didn't ever feel like I was happy, but I was always in that place. Like, okay, I don't know how to say it without saying it, like sounding bad. But, yeah, like, you sound bad, so I can understand what you're saying. Yeah, like, for instance, like this, like, I gotta tell you guys about, like, something about soccer or something. I never had to, like, get in a group and tell people, like, 
like relay the information before I say I'm going to start the store and stuff like that. So now that there's four of us together, it's like I want to make, I don't feel like half of me feels like, should I tell them that I have money? Like, but as as we work together, this is stuff we got to know. Like, I gotta communicate or something to see what you guys think about it. Because that's important that you guys know. And just like I would listen to you guys. Alright, so we we'll agree that communication, effective communication is key on the track field team. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think effective communication is the correct term. Effective is the correct, is the correct term here. Because as I'm here, always say, if you say one thing and then the, they just would just say the same thing, probably they didn't understand what we said. So we gotta make sure they understand what we say at the end of the day. And that's just we just make sure they say. Cause for example, it's like every morning we gotta give up I'm getting at four thirty and wake everybody up, me and John pretty much. We wake the entire family. But I think we'd still be in trouble if even if we was wake them up and they wouldn't come on time because mm -hmm. coach would say you still do not get them to come out their bed even if you tell them get up, you know. Mm -hmm. Is there anything anyone wants to add? Yeah, uh, like if the message is being passed around, the like I think what everyone everyone needs to do is to read the message, understand what the message is saying before responding. Mm -hmm. Cause some people just read it and they reply back real quick, yeah. thinking that the message was towards them, so they just start some, like you know I don't know, but read it, understand, and respond. Just don't think the message is applied to only just one person. It could be applied to everyone. And I think communication will be really effective too when everybody is going to respect everybody in the team and respect everybody's opinion. Because, for example, when you see the, the word um, University of Maryland, like Eastern Shop, Track and Field, this is, this is serious business, you know? And to go out there and to, to bad talk the program and to bad talk coaches and stuff like that instead of school, I, I think it's, it's pretty bad. And to communicate something to somebody like that's on campus and tell them about our program and how bad it is and tell the person that's like the negative stuff like the first thing about the program, I think it's it's pretty bad as well. Yeah, the negative always over <coughs> overdoes the positive.